In this video, we're going to focus on the pan options in the Zoom plugin for Chart.js. Basically, here we're going to focus on pan, and with pan, we're going to create the option of being able to go left and right or up and down. Most commonly for pan is left and right. However, sometimes you might go up and down depending on your chart size. So let's start and look here. So right now we have this here, but I'm going to remove all of this. We don't want this anymore. What we do want, of course, is the plugins and then zoom, because this here would activate the zoom in the plugin. However, what we want to do now is instead of zoom, we're going to use the pan. As you can see here, you have plugins, zoom, and then pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to enable this one first. This is the most important part. So we're going to remove everything here. And then we say here, we're going to activate the pan. And then here we say enable or enabled. Then we say true. By default, it is set on false. And what we really did here was basically in zoom, we have the dot zoom, dot pan, and then dot enable. And then you would say equal true. That's basically what we did here in short. So if we save this now, let me go back here and refresh. And now you can see that we are now able to control our pan option here. So right now, our pan option is only set on left and right, or oh, sorry, top and bottom, but not yet left and right. And we can control these as well. So we're going to control that. In the next video, we're going to focus on that because right now you can see we have deactivated the zoom. And if we zoom in or try to use the scroll, as I'm using right now, it does not work at all. If you click on it, nothing happens. The only thing is what we're doing is now pan. But this pan is what we call a vertical pan, where you are able to look up and down. And of course, what we want to activate is more specifically left and right. That we'll do in the next video. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.